There are over 500,000 kids across the country that are in foster care. Over 100,000 of those kids have a goal of adoption. NHS believes that kids need to be in homes. They don't need to be in a residential facility. They do best um, growing up in a family and being in a home environment. What makes it work is we take foster parents, people that also want to think outside the box, uh, think, think outside their own close-knit family, and decide somewhere along the line they want to give something back. And what better way to give it back to a child? That we take that concept and we take the toughest kids and we teach them, we give them the tools to work with so they're not afraid to work with these kids, that these kids are not a threat, that they don't say, oh, this child has mental illness, but they rather say, this kid has some issues. We teach all the skills. It's not just something they're going to read in a book. These are the skills I have gone through myself. It's a bunch of day-to-day -day skills that make them from good parents to great parents to magnificent parents. Top of the line. Our house is a bunch of different personalities wrapped up into one. It's never a dull moment. No. <laughs> never a dull moment. I see potential in everything. So when I see a new face come into the home, I see, well, there's some things that we can learn together. Not just that child, but myself as well, because when you're doing foster care, you learn things every day with that child. I've been here for a year and a half, and wow, I like it here and I don't like it here. I don't know what it is. You know, you may have a child that you're working with, and they may not open up to you. They might not open up to you for a while. And then there's just one day, one particular moment that you get it. And once you get it, it's priceless. It really gets you to appreciate what you have and like to give them a family too and try to like help them be a part of something to make them feel at home. Or sometimes they just need help getting over what happened to them in the past. Mm -hmm. I can talk to them, I can tell them, you, you know, get on their level and, and tell them what's, what's really going on. This is what's going to happen. If, you, if we don't get things straightened up for you, this is what can happen to you in the future. So I try harder to be good, to get adopted. And then when you wake up the next day and you see the benefit of that long talk you might have had with that child, um, it outweighs a lot of the stress that sometimes you can go through. And also, it's fun to sometimes see the children that you work with years ago come back and say, <laughs> hi, Mom, hi, Dad. Look at me. Yeah, yeah. And we get that. Is she not a good cook? Mm. And you can tell I said that. NHS Human Services, through its subsidiaries, is one of the nation's leading nonprofit providers of community-based services. NHS Human Services provides care to more than 50,000 adults and children every year with programs in Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, and Louisiana. The NHS Continuum of Care features many unique and specialized programs in the areas of mental health, intellectual and developmental disabilities, addictive diseases, juvenile justice, special education, autism, treatment foster care and adoption, elder care, and traumatic brain injury.